Back at OE Global, we have another interview partner, and he has some, I think, fascinating ways to open us. Could I ask you to introduce yourself first? Hi, my name is Michal Kaderka. I am from Czech Republic, especially from Prague. And I am partly teacher uh, in upper secondary school in Prague, where I teach media studies. Originally, I was teacher till full-time teacher till 2007, when I was teacher of the history in social sciences, what it means like philosophy, sociology, economy, whatever. And in 2010, I decided to go back to the school as a like hobby teacher. And then because I couldn't teach history anymore, so I decided to actually focus on the media studies because I was working. Actually, I'm still working. With medias and I'm working in the marketing and PR and I decided to teach media studies. On this conference you were talking about radical openness and you identified four ways to openness and the first one is Facebook. So why Facebook? Uh, because this is actually a platform where which uh, all students are using. For example like in 2010 or 11 I tried to I actually I test my students that I send them some information via emails and information via Facebook and I actually didn't get almost any answer via email but in five minutes I get everything via Facebook so I actually decided to focus on social medias because this is an environment where I can always find my students. The second one is open field trips. What is this? Open field trips is excursion that uh, part of the media studies is that we have to frequently visit. Uh, we have to frequently visit some publishers, and actually, this ex those excursions are open for all people. It means that not just for my students, but for former students, from for people from media, uh, or PR agencies, for young journalists, and for mothers, and actually for everybody who is interested about. Uh, media st studies. So I could come too? Yes, you too. If you understand Czech, you can definitely come. Okay. Uh, the third uh, thing was um, you are doing all preparations online. So you have not only one presentation, but what else on SlideShare or other uh, places? Yes, but it's not like in real time, but always if I do everything for my class, I try to uh, hang get out on the SlideShare. Uh, not just my preparation, but everything for teachers too. But of course it takes time because it's not, of course it's a little bit different if you do something just for you, for your uh, personal reasons and for your personal lessons. If you're a student and something different is if you want to publish for other teachers and like teachers community. So it takes a little bit of time, but I think that I'm mostly like I am I'm able to do it like till two weeks after my lesson. And number four is Twitter. How is Twitter uh, combined with your work? Uh, Twitter actually it's actually a very interesting instrument. I didn't expect that it would be such useful for me. Uh, when I started to use Facebook uh, for my students, actually I tried to post some interesting news and information from the media field, but I found out that students actually ignored all information because they were like so many information okay we I have no time to check everything so I decided to leave uh, all organization things on Facebook and everything what is interesting for my students I put on the Twitter but on the other hand actually Twitter start to be really attractive for other journalists and other people from the PR agencies which are actually using for themselves so I'm trying to put some special content for them to and for the students it's actually this content is focused for the uh, actually how to use media for your education I mean like how to educate yourself and and of course something from the media fields too I could imagine if you would do this in Germany there would be a huge cry out because of privacy issues safety issues uh, is there anything of this in your work in Prague uh, of course that I still think about it I'm trying to be really sensitive but it's really absolutely it's radically opened and uh, for example to the Facebook group uh, actually it has much more members that is, uh, that uh, I have students in my real class and uh, of course that I have to all of them I have to check it means that I have some my private rules it means like that they have to have profile pic profile picture that they have to have real names I try to uh, check out if they really exist and about what they do and whatever and after that uh, they are allowed to watch uh, everything what we do in our lessons and uh, if we go somewhere of course that I have to identify them too you know this is from the security reason it's actually you you are right 
write, for example, in the Facebook groups, that because I write everything about my students, I give them grades, and uh, I write what I think uh, about their outputs and whatever, and others are watching that. And uh, this is the reason why I have to be really careful for that. Uh, you had one interest, interesting thought that was that it's also protecting the students to go into the openness because you are watched for your teaching. Yes, uh, yes. Actually, this is protection. This is <laughs> I always try to explain my students why they should agree with this attitude, uh, and I try them to explain that actually that nobody is interesting about them. Uh, interested about them. Actually, everybody is interested about teacher. You know, they can make mistakes because they are just students. I cannot make mista mistakes because I'm professional. And actually, they can be sure because other teachers are members of the groups. So they can actually be sure that other teachers are uh, watching how I uh, how I evaluate them, uh, how I decide about the grades, how I actually what what I write to them. So it means that I cannot be actually ironic. I, I cannot be sarcastic and. I always have to think about that uh, people are watching me. What is the feedback you get, not from the students, but from other teachers? I can imagine other teachers say, I don't even want my students to have my cell phone number. Uh, I think that uh, <laughs> teachers like it, like it, because it's for them it's actually a reality show too, and they are actually watching other Uh, other teacher, what is actually really helpful for them. Uh, I make always surveys and ask like uh, members of the group what they think about and how uh, if they get something uh, useful or interesting and they always say that, that they, they learned. 80% of them they write that they, they got something but uh, one third of them they wrote that they wouldn't like it because but I think that this is from the reason because all these members are actually in my age it means that they are really young but in other hand they are not digital natives and they are not used to publish everything from their life okay is there anything else we should tell the audience especially in Germany about your work I don't know it sorry <laughs> <laughs> but you can be reached out on Twitter for example we yes. will uh, put a link to slide shares yes. to Twitter anything else Uh, I'm actually using for my lessons uh, slide, slide chart, Twitter, Facebook. Yes, and I think that this is that. That's all. And your presentation from OE Global, of course. Yes, exactly. Thank you. All the best for your work. Okay, my pleasure. Mm -hmm.